Hey guys, welcome to the week here at the Geek Course. And today we're gonna do some pendulum sweep. And so just basic stuff from closed guard pretty much, but sometimes the basics is important. And we're gonna start off with a pretty regular grip that people are gonna be doing here from the top, mostly looking for uh, both of these colors, right? In general, you will always see people grabbing or at least posing on your chest to, to keep this frame here so that they can prevent you from breaking their posture with your legs, right? So in this scenario, I'm gonna be grabbing the sleeve that's grabbing my collar. And I'm trying to break his grip, okay? So I'm gonna grab with the uh, hand across here on the top, and now I'm gonna to look to slide my hand underneath his and grab my own wrist here, okay? So what I'm trying to do here is just create something so that I can push forward and uh, like break his grip here from underneath his hand. So. If he's holding on really tight, it's not gonna be enough necessarily just pushing like this. So I'm gonna go under, grab my wrist, and there we go, okay? So once I've broken the grip, I'm gonna try to grab his hand here and just pass it underneath my own wrist here, okay? So from here, still holding on to his sleeve, passing his hand, and from here, I'm just trying to create a frame with my forearm here. So if he tries to bring this arm back, I'm always pushing this and keeping it away. So, pretty basic, but very useful. Boom, here, and coming in here, okay? So what I'm trying to do now is to get to his back and try to expose his back even more, right? And it's a combination of my legs and my hips, so I'm gonna push my hips slightly to the side and I'm gonna bring him down to me, okay? You might also notice that sometimes I like to punch with his grip, so I'm gonna turn my grip like this this way I have a slightly stronger grip and I can frame it with a straight arm. So if he tries to bring his arm back in, then he's kind of meeting my whole body with this frame, right? So by moving my hip out and bringing him low, I can now easily access the far side of his armpit, okay? And in this scenario, we're gonna be looking at the moment when he's trying to bring himself back into me. So he's gonna be pushing his way back into me and I'm just gonna keep isolating this arm that's close to my chest, right? And uh, to isolate it well, it's important to keep this pressure where I'm squeezing with my chest in towards his shoulder on this side, and I'm keeping this grip tight on his armpit on the other side, right? Uh, you will feel like there's a little seam underneath his armpit, which is a great place to hold on to. So once you have that grip here, now, if he tries to bring anywhere, you're pretty tight, okay? Now, uh, if you turn slightly this side, you will see I'm gonna start changing my position slightly. So I'm gonna turn under him here. And especially when he's putting his weight on top of me here, this is when I'm gonna be posting my foot on his hip here. And I'm gonna be looking to get underneath him, okay? And what I'm trying to do here is to get a grip onto his thigh on the opposite side here, okay? Sometimes you'll feel like it's too far away, then likely it's better to go for his back. But if he's really committed, to put his weight on top of, it. yes, then it should be accessible like this, okay? And now for the name of the game or the technique, the pendulum sweep. So it's in the name, you're trying to create a pendulum here with this leg, right? So you're gonna kick up and then outwards and then create a circle down towards his legs, okay? So up and around. You could do this a couple of times just to practice, but in reality, you're just gonna do a one time to get the sweep. So from the position here with the foot on the hip, creating this rotation so that you're still strong here behind his shoulder. And now kick up, bring him over you, and now get him over to the other side. Whoa. So just quickly here from the beginning, breaking the grip, pushing up, grab the wrist, pass it underneath. You could look for a temporary grip here if you need, just to like pull him down for you here. And now look for the uh, opposite armpit here, okay? In this scenario, he's gonna be pushing in towards me. So now I come underneath and look for the opposite thigh, okay? So here I'm gonna kick up, create the rotation 
And it's very important, guys, that we actually get this leg here that I'm uh, throwing underneath his thigh here, okay? If this leg is underneath his back, I'm gonna be really stuck and it's gonna be hard for me to come up into a top position. So I have to have it underneath his thigh so that it can now come up all the way into the mount position safely. And you will get used to it, but most likely the guy is gonna be a little bit spazzy here in the beginning. So you might wanna to try to stay low and post your hands out just in case they try to bump you over. Okay, one last time. Yes, thank you guys for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.